Hello, hello, here with a new tutorial and this one will be um, gothic style and I know normally most of the <coughs> gothic makeups are just black so I decided to make quite a few tutorials of how to use different colors rather than black and it's still considered, you know, a bit uh, dark, a bit vampire-like so um, this is today red. I'm gonna start off by just settling down my eyebrows a little bit just because I don't want to take them off for this makeup tutorial tutorial and normally goths um, have their eyebrows the gothic girls with uh, makeup have their eyebrows either fully off or they have very thin ones so just take some soap you have around the house and mix it with some water and then just tap your eyebrows just make them settle down a little bit and then since I'm dark skinned and I live in Spain so it doesn't matter as soon as I go out I'm gonna get even darker I'm just going to make my face pale by just covering it with foundation lots of white foundation mixed with a lighter one so just work your way through it if you're as dark as me and then uh, I want to make my eyebrows almost disappear well I don't want them I don't want the emphasis of this makeup to be on the eyebrows so I'm just gonna settle down with I'm just going to settle them down with some foundation and then on top I'm just going to add the same color I will put on my eyebrows on my eyelids so just take a pale red one and brush your eye brushes just to give them a different color well I just thought this one was cool it's not necessary you can just add some black but I just wanted it I just wanted them to have an undertone now for the eyelids we're just gonna go off with a explosion of colors so we're just taking a very bright red one and just apply it all over your lid okay you want to blend it out um, but make sure this one is this one is quite simple and you actually need only two colors a red one and a light skin color or you know just a vanilla color that you can blend the colors with okay so just work your way through the eyelid just blend it out little by little if you're not comfortable enough to set it on your eye as I do start off little by little and you want to work your way in a, in a corner too just by taking a flat brush you want to make that cat look um, that cat eye just because it looks good I just think this cat eye looks good on on girls and if you just want to give that hint of mystery I'll just do this um, this oblique line and it's just gonna make your eye look much nicer um, normally eye shadows that are red or copper make your eyes look sick but this time since I've added the uh, light grey lenses they look quite cool on me now you do want to blend out this makeup because normally gothic uh, girls just have this fair skin and they just look like they're porcelain okay like they're very fragile so we want to give that impression by blending out the colors you just take your vanilla color and work your way through it blend them out just to give a bit more of um, fragile look and then for the cheeks I know normally girls don't wear blush but I just thought it would look cool if you just add um, a very pale red blush on the cheeks of your on the bones of your cheeks and just the um, forehead, the sides of your forehead, you want to add a bit of the red just to um, add a bit of color to your face. Now uh, we're not going to use too much black on this makeup just because I want to get rid of the black and I wanted to give you guys ideas of how to make different ones not to just use that explosion of black at all time and we're just going to create a cat line okay so just go by you do it by little strokes normally you know even if you have years and years of experience you will still uh, find your yourself struggling with it so just make sure you don't 
mess all the makeup just do it by little strokes or by dots and connect them For the eyebrows, I know I've set them with red and now we're just going to redefine them. Take the same eyeliner you used for your cat eyes and with small strokes you want to redefine your eyebrows. Now it depends on the effect you want to give them. You can make the eyebrows less thinner or thicker. Now normally gothic girls just have very thin, very thin eyebrows and they're very fair. But it depends on, on you, it's up to you. Put your falsies on and then just add a layer or two of mascara and make sure you do put some emphasis on the lower lids just because they need a bit of attention too. And that's almost it for the lips. I'm just going to apply a very bright red uh, lip color and then we'll we contour the lips with a black I, uh, with a black pencil. Maybe the same if you have an eyeliner that's just a pencil, you just go contouring your lips as you would do with a um, lip pen and just start blending out little by little. If you need to add more red, you add more red on top of it and work your way until you're happy with the lips that you have and the colors that you have. Uh, for the hair, just mess it all up just because you want to give that witch uh, look. So just um, brush your hair backward to give it lots of volume and then just tap, tap it down. Okay, because you don't want to go all crazy. Or maybe you do. <laughs> hope you guys liked it. It's a different way of making a gothic makeup. And I hope you guys like it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.